Hello there lovelies and welcome back to another episode of Griff Gaming and as you can see we are back with Ratchet and Clank um, I have gone off screen and done the money, the boat glitch as you can sort of tell with the money there I also now own if it wasn't equipped I also now own the Rhino so if you guys would like to see how I did that I did record it but I don't. I, I think I'll leave it in case you, like, if you guys want to see how I did it I can always do it do it on as a short or something but yeah we've literally got more or less all the guns now so we have the rhino we have the pyro and that's all we need to have at the moment um, maybe put a devastator in and we're back where I think we're back at Pokotaro Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? Yeah, we're friendly. To you? Yes. To him, no. Well, friend, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes, yeah, you could say <coughs> that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one... Count them one. O2 mask left. Oh, I need an O2 mask. It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said. I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet <coughs> fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. Yeah, unfortunately though, to get the jet fighter, we need the pilot's helmet. So. I'm going to get him over to the plaza area and then I'm going to go oh god, not quite him bit of a kill with the rhino but you know I love, it. I love this gun and yes it probably will make this game very easy now but I don't really much care, I do love the gun Can't get me now, bitches. Come on, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. And good old fashioned wrench in the face room. I do devastate because I don't want them annoying idiots are there. But yeah, it, it, I spent the best part of a day getting the money up for the um, the Rhino, so yes, I will be using it. And I will be using the, uh, the, the Pyro gun a lot with these sort of enemies because they are annoying. Yes, I know it takes two hits to kill them, but with the Pyro at least I can just knock them back and not have to get hurt. See without using a blaster. Which I might actually have to start doing. Should I actually use the blaster's gun or to lock it up? Yeah, I really hate these fishes. <coughs> I really do hate them fish. There's nothing like you could just use right, easy on them. Bargains for you today. To be honest, I don't know if it's worth going to get the pilot helmet first. You know what? Yeah, I'll go get the pilot helmet first. Because if we do the pilot helmet first, we can come back and just do all this in one clean sweep. But yeah, I did go nice. over the top of the money that I was getting because they saw I now I don't need to go and get extra boats or anything. So I've got the Rhino. Once I get the chance to get extra health, I can get extra health. Uh, when so ammo, they need they need to buy something off people. At least I got the money ready for it. Still gonna collect more boats though. 
<coughs> Sorry, I got me a little uh, like six more throw. And yes, the rhino is definitely like overkill to use on a lot of these enemies. But some of them are just annoying as hell. And I'd rather destroy them with the rhino than just have to keep going back and forth with them. These ones I can use a blaster. Rhino. The only downfall to the Rhino is that you can't buy it. You can't get ammo for it. You have to buy it. But it being such an overpowered gun as it is, I can I can understand why. Like this gun can just destroy bosses in seconds. So yeah, I can understand why it's. You can't just pick up ammo for it. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. Also, I just remembered as well. Thank you so much, everyone who's been watching. We've fought, we've hit 100 subscribers, and I'm extremely thankful that like you guys are even considering to watch my videos. Or not even, not even subscribing. But thank you so much, everybody who's subscribed to my channel. It does mean I've so much to me. Yeah, this is just complete overkill. And I like it. The game will slow down because I was playing this earlier on a different account. Same save, uh, different save. The uh, same account, different save. And uh, when I was playing it here, I was using the Rhino and the whole game just lagged to hell. God, I love this gun. Just pure chaos. The Rhino in Ryan uh, in Ratchet and Clank One Remaster is a lot better, though. especially with the music. It's a complete, a, a complete music. All these side flipping idiots. The bomb it just makes it short work for them. I can't remember that. If there's something actually hiding in one of these. No. But I've been a skill player at the very least. <laughs> Can I break anything over here? Nope. Okay. Look at this pure chaos this gun causes. Yes, I know it's going to be extremely easy, but I, I don't care. I still ha I can still die. There's still a chance I can die, which makes it a bit more makes it bigger. Yes, bosses don't stand a chance, but yeah, it was an exploit in the game. I didn't use any cheats. I just exploited the game. That's my that's my reason for it. If you'd like to see me do it without doing the money thing, I will eventually get around to playing Ratchet and Clank Remaster, so I can play that properly. There's a golden boat up there, but I will try it at a later date. Where we at? Ten minutes. Okay, now we've got the pilot's mask. We can go back to Pokotaro again. Like, I'm really enjoying playing this. Like, we're actually getting through it quite far. I am going to do a few videos of this one after another, just so we can get a bit further in the game. Because I am looking at how many games I've currently got on, and I am like, yeah, it's going to take me about a decade just to get through the ones I've got already. Okay, um, I Devastator I didn't use. I used the Rhino, so I want to buy the ammo. Oh yeah, anyone? I want to get the uh, wallop. Hi there, fuzzball. The walloper. Yeah. 
I'm going to own every gun in this game as well. No, Pyro. Come on, you. I, mean, I could just use a wrench, but it's just pain in the ass. Honestly, with this area, I don't actually need to use the Rhino. The only part in this area that I really find annoying is the amoeba wipes in um, the plants section. Or as my daughter calls them, the big suggies. Seriously. I don't usually have this much trouble with these bloody belt parts. I don't see the point in using like, like rockets and stuff like that. Especially not the Rhino, because the Rhino is really not good against them. What do I have? Yeah, we'll just use the Pyro. I stand at the very end, like I did before, first person. Even spray. See? This works out so much better. Just need to make sure I have enough ammo to do the next part. Oh, I've got one number up. No, I haven't got this one. Yeah, I do have. I think. Yeah, maybe. Um. No, I don't. Yeah, I thought I had one of the little robot things to help out. I don't even know why I'm the Devastator and used to fish. I am just being... Just doing so much overkill at the moment, it's just no need for all. And yet these bastards still get to me. See, the overkill makes sense when you look at these, when these are just doing what they do. Being annoying. Pyro, Pyro, there's one. Ah, I probably should save the ammo on this, though. I know the path's not as long as the second part, but I just want to get this part over and done with because I hate these guys over there. Bomb gov to the wind. Oh, Spirit. Do it this way. I'll keep the pyro for when I'm on the boat, but yeah, I just might destroy them. As long as I have enough health to get through this next part. Because I was, I'm just going to spend the majority of this bloody episode just on this area. the camera. But I have 93 pieces, uh, not, I've got 93 pieces of ammo left in this. 93 small millimeters of gas to spray a fire with. Dock up already, will ya? Oh, just in time, I ran, just ran out. So, um... You know, what weapons do we even have? Because, like... That suction gun... There you are. <coughs> 
Please, for the love of God, do not fall into the water. There we are, let's do that. That works out in my favour. And I've got the pilot. Oh, there's one behind me. It's going to hit me now, isn't it? Nope. Not going to do it to me today, mate. You are not going to get to me today. Fire in a hole! Fish ahoy! Yeah, little fishy, fishy, fishy. All right, so now we just need to open this up now. Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham, <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist, and the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little <laughs> problem. I just want the O2 mask. So we need to just like we get the upgrade now for Clank. Well, Come on, well, nerd. What do we got here? Hey. Well, well, what do we have here? Yeehaw, Kappa. Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you oh, yeah, I forgot your owl's brother in this I one. Can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure <laughs> as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. Oh, Ratchet, shut up. Well, I know Clank's pissed you off, but seriously, just shut up, you're a dickhead as well. Oh, let's get on with this now. So, yeah, with these ones at the moment, I'm just going around, going to get the missions done. I'm going to get other missions done. And if I have enough time afterwards, I might go and do the side missions. Maybe do some of the secret bosses as well. Because there is a secret boss in here and that I can easily wipe the floor with you. No, I'm thinking of a Ratchet and Clank 3. I thought there was with the Black Blackwater City. I've forgot there's um, I thought there was a boss there, but no, I must be mistaken for that one. I do enjoy this game so much though. You know what? I have to be I'm not a biggest fan of the flying sections. Like with this and the you know the one that I was in earlier where we had to do the Oh god, what's it called now? The wall What the wall torn one? The one that had the battlefield going to Battalia. Um if we go back to Battalia and do the, the tank mission there, there's a raider compound that we go to need the magnetic boots. I feel like I'm rambling on right now. Anyway, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing back going back to the sun side missions. See as much as having all that money makes the game a little easier, you still have to contend with stuff like this. But yes, granted bosses are a bit easy now. As long as I'm able to access my guns. Mission complete. Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. <coughs> the O2 mask allows you to breathe underwater. In right. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to leave the episode here just yet. I'm going to leave the factory area until I get rare titanium. So I'm just going to sweep that all instead of having to come back to where I need to go. So what I am going to do, the plant Gaspar, the one that we uh, got 
Clang on. We're going to go back there and play as Ratchet now. We can play because we have the O2 mask. And here gives us the next coordinates. And also, we can extend our life here. Because at the moment we have four health. We get to get increased by four. So it do make it a bit more easy for ourselves. And Rhino! Yes, this is going to be complete overkill. Yes, I know it's a waste of bullets. Do I care? No, because I'm having so much fun blowing shit up. But this is what you play a Ratchet and Clank the game for to blow shit up. And the humour. But I got this as early as I possibly could as well, so we are going to... I will be using it for a few of the bosses and a lot of enemies. But I am going to be using it. I spent ages to get it, I'm going to use it. But just look how easy that is just to kill stuff. Literally the main thing that exploit is just you have to use uh, glitter the wall to get onto the racetrack in black water. And once you're on that, you go to a big stack of boxes and just, they just keep repeat, uh, respawning and you break them. That is literally it. Uh, you need a taunter and the decoy um, gloves to get there, so bar that, it's just a piece of piss. But I think it was the best part of like five, six hours. I just had, it was just standing in one area, just using the taunter on his boxes. <coughs> All right, so now we've got to open that, and we've got this. This is a premium nanotech dispenser. You can purchase a can to increase your maximum health. And yes, we will be. I love it how the first one's like four thousand, and the next one that's thirty thousand. So now we have five. Also carries ultra and we have ultra and nanos now, which gives us the max health we can carry, which is eight. So ain't nothing killing us now. Well, we can still die. Just gotta be less stupid now. Well, actually, no, I can probably be more stupid. We have more life to play with. I don't know why I'm getting on it. I should have actually got more ammo. Ah, I'm only missing 16 bullets. But yeah, <laughs> with now we're having the Rhino, we're just going to wreck house in this game. When I can't, when I look seriously, seriously, this is why I use the Rhino. When I have a choice not to use it, I might not use it, but I'm going to use it, especially with some of the more annoying enemies in this game. I just wish I could use it on Quark. I'd love to rip him, rip him a new one. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, damn it. I walk too far forward. I usually let them come to me. Because they usually sneak up behind me. But I think once we've done this one. Oh yeah, I need a you. Oh. Right up. That's a very rude wake wake up boy, isn't it? Fuck. Right now. Oh. 
literally I'm just going to go right out any time we have to get out now. And get you. I'm just going to fly past these, uh, these guys. Ow. That is me. Stop being me. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have actually just... I should have just killed him first and then come back. But I am actually playing this on the PS3, not on my PC. Because I, it looks a little different, but looks a little bit smoother. So it's like jittering every two seconds. That is why. But I can't wait to finish this one and get on to Ratchet and Clank 2. Two, three, dead, uh, deadlock gladiator, wherever you come from. Um, into the Nexus, Quest for Booty, the remaster. I don't think I'm going to play like Q4 or stuff like that because that's they're more like four players upwards, and uh, it's just me playing because I'm lonely. Right up. Yep. Uh, right up. I love the rhino. I love ripping you a new one. Yeah, I'll come back for the uh, line in a second. I'm just going to clear this area out first. Yeah, they're all dead. I don't think they're coming back to life. I say no one lives when the rhino comes out. Oh, apart from Ratchet. Oh, I love this part. This rhino! Ah, you bastard. Oh, I do feel sorry for these, like, unsuspecting... whatever they're called. They're just asleep and next thing you know they get woken up to a massive explosion and a rocket in their face. <coughs> Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Trek here to fill you in on our progress. Let's see we have the next coordinates now. The perfect orbit for our planet. One which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. And that's why we've created this! The planet Two seconds. Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire... Alright, sorry about that, guys. So the, uh, um, some of these came to the door then. So, anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the door... Uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. It's been Griffin Grip Gaming. I've done one video a day, and I hope you 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 have an amazing day today. And I hope that you amazing people come to the next video. Bye bye.